Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I have received from my GK group and it is called IPC3700. This box is Windows 10 mini PC box. In today's video we will be unboxing and also going to show you what's included inside of this box and how we can use it. All right so first you can see the box is nicely designed going all the way around. It's very simple design to it. It just have a wooden color and on top of it it just indicates that this this is my Jika box and it is IPC 3700 it's a Windows 10 mini PC then once we try to open the box itself you can see that the box itself is sitting right on the top it has really nice tone and color and once we take it out the box is a little bit heavy and you can see the components that are part of this is the IPC 3700 also comes with a antenna connection this 360 degrees turnable that you can go around and it is detachable and also beside that it comes with a little user manual which is only two pages beside that it comes with a kr301 one of the best remotes that my Jika have up to date and it is air mouse so it's going to be fully functional for this box itself also comes with a power adapter which is 5 volt created for canada and united states and one HDMI cable. All right, so let's just check the remote itself. The remote is nicely designed. Everything is very colorful on this remote. You can see it from the top. It has the power button going down. It has the play and pause button. The functions are there too. It has an air mouse turn on and off. Also going down, it has an American buttons there too. And some color buttons, which will be configurable inside of Kodi. Going in the back of it, you do have a full set of keyboards. So this way you can type. This is perfect. And you can change the battery on this it does take two AAA batteries and it is inside of the box it does have a little USB dongle that you have to connect it to the box in order to use this remote all right so enough said about the remote let's just go around the box itself you can see it has a nice metallic box if it's a little bit heavy but this way it is not going to heat up like the other boxes from other manufacturers you can see it as is my G on the top it does indicate that it is Windows box it has a little Windows icon on it and when we go around it in the front you can see it has a little power button and beside that you have three indicators each one will indicate different things and then right beside it you have a little IR indicator and a front on the right hand side it does indicate that it's an IPC 3700 so the model is very nicely written going on the right side of it you have nothing but going on a back part of it we have a 5 volt DC connection and then we have the LAN connection which is 8.2.11 BGN connection and then we have VGA connection and then HDMI connection also we have mic and headset jack so this we can connect it to your speakers it comes with one USB 2.0 port and the antenna connection going on the other side of it you have two USB 2.0 ports so you can connect more hard drive to it or connect a camera or another device go ahead you can do it there and right beside that you have a full SD card slot it can read up to 128 gigabyte going in the bottom part of this it does not have any ventilation parts so it can breathe since this is made out of metal it is going to be very cold so it's very nice for the box itself since we are using Windows it will be a lot of power going to be taken out of the CPU this makes perfect sense of why they used a metallic case and let's just connect the antenna itself it just have a little connection you just have to hook it up and you're gonna roll it and it just connects you gotta put it up and you can go side to side so that way you're going to get your Wi-Fi connected using this antenna if you are going to wire it up you do not have to connect this antenna all right so while you're connecting the box itself make sure that you connect your KR301 dongle first and then connect your HDMI cable and then connect the power so in front of the box itself you will get a little red light and then you have to press the power button it will turn to blue and now you should see something on the screen and there you go the first screen you will get is you have to set up your box so we will just set it up and we will bypass this part it will ask us to create a local user and that's what we're going to do and there you go this is the first screen you will get as soon as it boots in remember that Windows 10 has a few new things it is not like Windows 8 so when you click on the start button you have all your tiles there and on top of that you have something new called Cortona 
This way you can ask something from it and it will work. Remember that the mic is not part of this, so you need to hook up a mic in order to use this part. Except that it is beautiful. So now you can go ahead and customize the screen. So first thing we will do is make the search bar go away, making it very small. So we right click, we're going to Cortona and we're going to say show just an icon. There you go. So that part is done. And also any icons that are hiding here, we will just grab it and drag and drop it on the taskbar. So this way it's all going to show up and we don't have nothing hidden. You can see that it does have Bluetooth 4.0 part of this Bluetooth is also part of it so you can enable and you can disable if you want to set up the screen itself it does come with HD integrated graphics card so you can go through it and you can exit or you can go to properties and this way you can set up the box we will get out of this now you can go through Windows itself and you can set up your Windows Defender it's a very good package which is part of Microsoft which will act like a antivirus we do recommend to load another antivirus on this if you are going to browse the internet and everything a lot but except that it does have a lot of apps built in but this box do come full licensed for Windows 10 how do we know that let's go into start Let's go to settings and let's go to system and about. So in here you can see that it is Windows 10 and we are running the Windows 10 Home Edition versions there. Now remember this is product ID, this is not the key and it does indicate that the processor on this is Atom CPU Z3735F. It does run on 1.33 gigahertz and also it counts 2 gigabyte of RAM and 32 internal storage. It does run on 64 bit processor and yes you can tweak this box as much as possible. Alright so first thing we will do is just run CPU Z. This way we can see that exactly what this box offers us so we will double click and we will click yes now it doesn't make sense that why these guys are not inside of the App Store for Windows but you can see I'm just gonna zoom in right here and we can see that this is running Intel Atom Z3735F chipset and also the code name is Baytrail CR going under packages socket 1380 BGA and if we go down a little bit it does indicate a specification under Intel Atom it does run on 1.33 gigahertz and the family is 6 model is 7 and the stepping is 8 and if you go down a little bit the clock speed is there too the multiplayer is there the best speed is there too and if you go under cache you can see all the cache that is running under motherboard what type of motherboard it is it is manufactured for my Jika. the model number is there too IPC 3700 if you go down the BIOS version is American Megatrend the memory on this is DDR3 it is running under 1958 megabyte which is 2 gigabyte and the DRAM frequency is running on 666 the graphics card is Intel HD graphics and some other information all right so just to let you guys know that you can run Kodi on this natively so you have to go to applications and no it's not preloaded so you have to install Kodi on this and we have to go under k and there you go click on it and click on run this is going to be the first boot loading Kodi on this so it will take a couple of seconds for it to load and you can see it right now and there you go yes it will ask you for access we will say allow so this way it goes online and there you go now you can turn off your mouse on your remote and you can go to the system we will go under system info and this we can see that this is Kodi 16.1 it is compiled on April 24 2016 it is running on Windows 10 you can see it right here and it is running on 1080p natively the CPU usage is right there too and also the memory usage how much it is using right now which is over 55 percent since this is Windows it's going to use a lot of RAM there and then the rest going to be taken by Kodi and now you can go ahead and install your internal network or USB connected to this watch your vacation video birthday videos or family gathering videos via USB through this box or if you have it on your own network go ahead share it and play through this obviously we will exit out of Kodi so this is our take on my IPC 3700 I will be leaving a link where you can order this box from and also if you need more information about this box at the bottom of this video in the meantime I hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment and the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is is xtx.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter vine instagram and other social networking places and thank you